Want to join the conversation? Call us toll free. It's 1-833-296-TALK. That's 1-833-296-8255. Now, here's more of the Mike Buck Show on AM 690 and FM 94.3. The answer. So I got a new producer. His name is uh, uh, Micah Gamalog, and he doesn't know about the Rocket Man music. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have to uh, fake it way through through it. Through. But ever since uh, I found the song and hooked up with Ricky Ellison years and years ago, uh, he is the Rocket Man. He's a, and who are you, a rocket scientist? And he could have been, but he decided to play football and hurt a lot of people for a long time. Won a bunch <laughs> of Super Bowls, and then he turned into uh, then he turned. This is the thumbnail, the bio of okay. Ricky. Uh, then he turned back into uh, Mr. Missile. And I'm telling you, uh, we've got so much ground to cover. I'm so pleased that you're able to spend a couple of minutes. I know how busy you are on this trip. But um, first of all, I'd like your thoughts because you, everywhere you travel, everybody must be talking about the same thing right now. And that's the incredible audacity of Putin and the Russians to do what they're doing in Ukraine. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, from a perspective that our deterrent, our deterrence failed, Yeah. our Diplomacy failed, yeah. our sanctions failed, and we're seeing a country, a, a world power, that that is not good mm-hmm. at arms conflict, that yeah. that's not good at land and air power, that it's getting yeah. beat, yeah. and it's going to the weapon of choice, which is missiles. Yeah. And they've flown 2,000 of these missiles that are ballistic, mm-hmm. that are cruise, some hypersonic, and they've become not precision. They've been collateral damage. Pro- 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 They're yeah, leveling yeah. cities. Yeah, yeah. They're killing people. And this is something that's shocking uh, to all of us. And the fact that we have, the world has yeah. capability to defend those. Mm-hmm. And we're watching a country that didn't invest in that type of technology yeah. to, to well, do this. It, and you're watching NATO on the backside of it saying, wow, yeah. we got to get our stuff Stuff. right we we got to get a deterrent right Mm -hmm. to to deal with russia well the 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 reason i said that is because i i remember in the press a couple of months ago it said well you know china is going to exert some 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 influence on they're going they're going to talk some sense into putin and you're all about reminding us every time we get a chance that our problem is not putin and the russians right now in in the pacific ocean and around guam and other assets and all of our other friendly people down there there's stuff going on there that people here are so not in touch with what's going on and 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 we all know the clarity that that ukraine's not in nato it's not a national security interest but it's obviously captured the world's attention on it and russia is really still in an an economy the size of california or less so it's not it is not what China is. China, yeah. China is a much more massive threat yeah. to our country. And they're watching Ukraine. They're watching yeah. what we're doing in sanctions and diplomacy mm-hmm. and military aspects of it, and they're studying it. Mm-hmm. And, they're, and they're creating capabilities to negate or defeat or move off of that. Is, so, it, is it true, Ricky, that you think that – I've heard this a lot – uh, the Russian army is not the Russian army of old. I mean, you know, it is it is a way, way different pe- bunch of people. They're not anywhere near as trained or as proficient uh, that and, and in number. So I think that weren't they kind of everybody well, saying th- how I surprised they, they were. Yeah, but I think they don't have ISR. They don't they're not yeah. able to pick out and recon in front mm-hmm. with electronic and target their yeah. their 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 fires yeah. whether it's yeah. on ground or land they're not a combination mm. they're not very good yeah. they're fighting like a 1990 yeah. type of capability and yeah. we've we'll, we'll really the moved on just yeah. with the, the, the anti-tank missiles yeah. and the stuff that they've been able to do mm-hmm. have really slowed that ability down but again they're going to continue to increase pain and increase yeah. death to try to get a settlement, so they're going to increase what they do best, which is making collateral damage yeah. through missiles and, it, and forcing all... and f- trying to force this to come to a, a negotiation and peace table where they get part of that country. That that seems that's to be a, the game. That's, yeah, but the interesting thing is the, the country is being destroyed. So you know what what they're getting is a far cry from what they originally wanted. Yeah, but, but they're, they're trying really to access. I understand that, but they, but they're trying to tell. Ukraine, hey, yeah. we're going to keep destroying your country until you come to a settlement. Yeah. So that that's a that's yeah. a war we haven't yeah. been able yeah. to resolve that aspect of it, and that's going that's going on. 
Interesting. But the, let me tell you, the Russians are, you know, they only have a, a limited amount of capability now. Mm-hmm. So they're exhausting mm-hmm. a lot of their missiles. They're exhausting yep. a lot of things there. We're watching all of that to happen. They're not the big bad wolf. Mm-hmm. Their, their military right now can get beat by, you know, a lot of NATO countries one on one. The only mm-hmm. thing they've really got is that nuclear capability that's backed in there behind it. Mm-hmm. That, that's the thing. That's why I was looking so forward to talking to you. Because that gets our attention really, really quickly, quicker than a lot of other things. Because what we're looking at is, you know, there's North Korea, which we haven't talked about for a while. They're not resting on their laurels. They're continuing they're testing, to do their they're thing. They're continuing to yeah, test. Yeah, I've seen more tests going up. Uh, the uh, the Chinese, uh, uh, the Communist Party is a very patient group of people. And economically, they're kicking everybody's Wakoli. So I mean, you know, if that be if that is if that is the session, how do we get the attention that we need now for missile well, defense? I don't, think, I don't think I don't think the attention's gone. I mean, mm. there's been extra money spent on Ukraine, yeah. but I can tell you, we're still focused yeah. as a as the NDA and the and the con- congressional funding going forward. It's still coming here. Yeah, I was, I was worried about that. It's still coming here, yeah. and we're and we're not keeping our. I mean, what's happened? And I think we've. It needs to be said mm-hmm. what's happened in Solomon Islands and what China has done there mm-hmm. to, to set up to have a military port there. That's been underreported, mm-hmm. and that's much more important for us to understand that continued predator mm-hmm. of China moving across this theater do you think, to be the dominant. Do you think that they are happy that we seem to be a bit confused and misled right now because of Ukraine and everything else going on, that we sort of not looked at them as hard as we should have in the but last year. But I think so. everybody's taking advantage of our, of our presidency right now. Mm-hmm. I think there's an advantage, I mean, from Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. We're, we're, when, you, when you deter someone, mm-hmm. you have to you know, impose cost on them, yeah. Yeah. which we're very good at. We've got all ways to do that. Yeah. But you've got to deny cost, which we're not good at. Yeah. And you've got to communicate. So yeah. the, those are the three things. And I think we are a little bit weak on the last two mm-hmm. that we're not able to, when we say something, they don't believe us. Yeah, and right? they're, they're, that, that, that so is a problem. We, we, we yeah. got to get yeah. our deterrent much stronger with us. And, I, and the, so I think that's where we're at. And I think China's looking at this whole thing too because they're, they're looking at the bigger p- picture of trying to change yeah. world order. And they're out sitting on the sidelines there watching this and seeing... <clears throat> How they can do it. Yeah, so. and then here comes in the middle of all of this, like we needed, the pandemic. What we got is all these, all this attention and energy focused on health and testing and benefits and people dying. And maybe some of these other things are sort of getting the back shelf right now while we try to take care of yeah, ourselves. I, I don't know. I, I think it also is a lesson for us. We're, we're, we as a nation, as a world, has got to be ready and prepared yeah. for, for something like this. Mm-hmm. If it's man-made or natural made yeah. that, that's, that's part of life. And how you get through it, and still keep your world order and world, world yeah. status on it, and you got to lead on this. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good point. Speaking about a lead on this, let me give you a heads up on how you're going to get on down the road. I got Malin Moore; he's got traffic. It's five fifteen. More coming up with me and Rocket Man Ricky Ellison right after this. Have you got a question? Want the answer? It's right here and right now. Here's more of the Mike Buck Show on AM six ninety and FM ninety four point three. The answer. Okay, so at 17 minutes after the hour, I'm so thrilled. Ricky Ellison from the Missile Defense Advocacy Alliance. Uh, by the way, if you want to see what they're doing, the length and breadth of it, I looked at every uh, every Monday. I look at Missile Monday, uh, and 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 take a look at. It. You should too, and it gets more hits than you can shake a stick at. And every time uh, we uh, uh, we are on and we send you a, a you know a, a file of it. People call me from all over the country. So you got, uh, for those that don't know, what was the the, the beginnings that, that got you to, to decide, this is my calling, this is what I got to do? Well, that was when I was in college yeah. playing football, and yeah. I had Ronald Reagan's National Security Advisor come in in the height of the Cold War where we were on mutual assured destruction, where there was yeah. no defenses, and he went to to the Mount Cheyenne yeah. Mountain and said, where's our defense for accidental launch? I, and I'm, I bought in that having missile defense mm. and some sort of capability would make yeah. the world safer. And it certainly did. That SDI thing moved, yeah. made the, broke the Soviet Union. And then. Can't believe that, you know, how, how effective that was and how long yeah, ago yeah. it was. But we're at the yeah. same transition yeah. today yeah. where we're going to be in a, a kind of a cold arms race with China mm-hmm. on that. And we're going to have to go to space. There's yeah. no question. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to go to space because we got to be able to see what they're using. They are testing in the same amount of period of time. I think two or three years. 
China tested over 200 hypersonic missile tests. Mm. We tested under 10. Yeah, 200. So, Whoa. so the, yeah. They, they are moving mm-hmm. in front of us. They got it deployed yeah. to be able to deliver that. And you can't track those on terrestrial radars because they go That's so what I need to ask. They be, go be, so fast, right? Yeah. You, the only way you can pick them up is something up in space to yeah. pick them up. And we don't have that yet. You know, now, what is the technology that it would allow something in space to see something on Earth? Would it be heat sensitive? Yeah. What, absolutely. What, you know, so, yeah. absolutely. And yeah. we can put it up on small sats and we can cover we yeah. can cover the Pacific, yeah. right? Yeah. And, you're, and you're, you can share it with a commercial sat so that they don't know which ones are what. Yeah. But it gives you yeah. a heat signature of what flies. Gotcha. And you need to step back so you can see it fly instead of having to change direction. Because on terrestrial, the thing moves so fast mm. that the, by the time you target, it's yeah, already it's, gone, it's gone by. Yeah, and you know what, gang? Ever since the very beginning... That's called Ricky, hypersonic defense. Yeah. So, hypersonic offense. Yeah. We need to create yeah. hypersonic defense. And guess what? Who's doing yeah. that? PRMF. Yeah. What test range is doing that today? Right here on, on so the So that, that's Kauai. happening, yeah. and that's the arms race that yeah. we're facing yeah. today mm. with China and a little bit of Russia. But China's the main, main aspect of it. And yes, mm. we have to change the way we do things and mm. one of the papers we just wrote was the roles and responsibilities of integrated air missile defense that has not yeah. been changed since 1948 1948 <laughs> after world war ii <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. with a new yeah. service called the air yeah. force you weren't even alive i was but you v1 yeah. rockets yeah. Yeah. and now here we are yeah. at the same juncture yeah. Yeah. we got a space force has yeah. just come in we got hypersonic yeah. rockets and we got a declined budget we've we are Doing too many things. Our mm. services, like for Guam, mm. there's too many services doing the same thing. And okay. we've got to make that efficient to do yeah. it right to be more effective in what yeah. we're doing. And, you know, gang, the, the thing is that, that we find incredible about this, and it is, it, thank goodness for, for Kawhi and, and for Ricky and for a lot of other people calling our attention to this, but I'm, I feel relatively safe that some of the systems, of course, we want more stuff here in Hawaii that, to protect us, but that's besides the point. We'll get that down the road. In the meantime, it is still people have to buy into and believe that the technology exists. When somebody launches what might be something that can come Mike, and hurt Mike, us. People are watching those missiles launch into well, Kiev yeah, right now. Yeah, they're yeah, killing they're people. They're killing people. Well, we got capable. There's no question that, yeah, that what yeah. we got can mm-hmm. stop it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that those days mm-hmm. are 30 years ago yeah. when we got capability right now that can defeat everything yeah. they got. Yeah. But it's not in Ukraine. Yeah. And we don't have a treaty with Ukraine to put it in the Ukraine. Yeah. We need to put it, guess where? In Guam, our yeah. U.S. home. And, 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 by and the way, we got to yeah, put it. You have to understand one thing. When Ricky and I talk about stuff, particularly budgets, and over the years we've done that a lot, this is a total different part of the military. It's a total different part of, of what we're doing because Ricky's organization, and we're talking about missile defense. We're not talking about weapons. But in actual fact, we're talking about stuff that stops weapons. It's simple as that. That's right. Yeah. And, and, and it's, a, it's a command and control system. Yeah that has to be able to see everything, yeah. right? Yeah. Cruise missiles all the way down by the ocean, all the way up high, even yeah. drones, and yeah. and you gotta process that in artificial intelligence and machine learning mm. to spit out mm. what those firing solutions are. Then you gotta distribute all those to all these different effectors, whether they're on land, sea, air, you, maybe you know, space, you, to be able to do that. You know what we, that's like where to, we gotta go. And, and one, one thing I'd like you to do, because I know that this happens every year when you have you know awards given out, um, what what seems like we don't know enough about is how many men and women in this country, and you travel all over to where these people are with Alaska, wherever, everywhere here, uh, are are working day and night on this. I mean, they're just working well, every doing service their job. has got a, every service has got a contingent on missile defense. Yeah, but I, I you know there's probably about twenty thousand. If you yeah. look at all across, that's out on ships, that's out yeah. with our Army, Air Force yeah. aspect of it, I think that works on this, these systems. We, you know, Mike, we also did our first graduation. We created a brand new executive program at the mm. University of Southern California mm-hmm. on space, global space and defense. Yeah, and, and, we, and we combined the yeah. engineering yeah. school with the public policy school to start creating that leadership cauldron mm-hmm. that's yeah. gonna compete against China. I had an opportunity to speak to the University of Hawaii yesterday mm-hmm. and talk to their provost and their and their university to say, hey, why don't we look at you being the world specialist on space here mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. build a university with labs, yeah. with focus, and start creating a STEM-based education yeah. all the way down sixth, seventh, eighth grade 
because space is such a big commodity and a lot of funding's going in there. Instead of going to the mainland to bring all these experts yeah. over, why don't you grow and develop your own experts you see, here in he, Hawaii? You can see he's playing our song, right? I mean, that's what we're talking about: diversification of the uh, of the economy here and and of industry. What makes a smaller footprint? Nothing, and the the. The, the ability to offer to our young men and women, particularly because, as you say, our big worry is right here in the Pacific. We're not worried about the Ukraine. We're not worried about Afghanistan. We're worried about yeah. the and, Pacific. And you're we're the world about, leader on yeah. how to defend that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not in yeah. Europe. Yeah. That, that stuff didn't work. Mm-hmm. You're here. Yeah. And, we're, we're, and we're doing the best we can with the limited capabilities yeah. that we've got. We've got to do more. Mm-hmm. And we've got to create new technologies. We've got to do it better, faster, quicker. Well, and and let's see. So obviously, when it, when when greater minds prevail, we we're thinking uh, when somebody come up with a with a proposed or a model of how that would work. I mean, you know, there I don't know of any place in the country that is more set up, more more well, you're located. In the center part yeah, of the right Indo-Pacific yeah, yeah, region. Yeah, yeah. So that that is an important aspect of it. Yeah. But we got to think bigger than just. Right after launch to intercept these, we got to think left of launch. Yeah. What are those things to prevent them from launching? How yeah. do you break their kill train or production yeah. train? Yeah. How do you do soft power? How do you do diplomatic power before they even get in the position to launch? Okay, let, let's make sure that we got a, a minute to, to spend on this before it's time to say hello because I know you got to get to another place. Let's talk about you know when when North Korea tests, they, they don't have. The ability, nor the quantity, nor the money that, that China has, by any means, right? But aren't they're more than a thorn in our side, aren't they? I mean, aren't they, uh, you know... Well, we, we, yeah, they're, they're, not, they're a thorn. We spent mm-hmm. most of our resources on developing a limited system that we have today. Yeah. That's Hawaii's part of it, Alaska's yeah. part of the to to take out that part, them. So yeah. We're, yeah. we're not as worried about that. Yeah. We've got n- new missiles coming up. We've got that threat yeah. covered. But that's not the threat There's we're facing anymore, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The threat yeah. is China. So, yeah. and the regional aspect of it, which they can put nuclear weapons on hypersonic weapons, yeah. that is the gray area, and that is an area that we have to be able to defend because it's not up to mutual yeah. assured destruction. They're not yeah. listening to that. So yeah. that 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 yeah. is where yeah. we're going to create the deterrent. Okay, now let's take it back to the Ukraine before we're done, and that is that right now, uh, these missiles that are being fired into 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 Ukraine uh, by Russia are devastating, they're terrible, but they're not nukes. And so I'm more wondering how much more the, the, you know, the absolute defense of Ukraine is is gonna so frustrate Putin that he's gonna say, we have to use, you know, a a technical, a small piece of So what would happen if if he gets to that level where, you know, his pride and that country's pride's on the line, they're gonna gonna show all of us in the world, they're gonna test a tactical nuclear weapon. They're gonna test it on their country first. That's what they're gonna do. And then, and to see if they can can get an agreement to stop the fight or whatever that is. And if they don't, isn't that an awful place that, for us to be? That, yeah, the next yeah. piece, but that's not our fight. Yeah, I'm telling yeah, you, we're yeah. not. We, we're not at the table. We're yeah. not negotiating yeah. that. That's not our fight. It's mm. that's Ukraine and Russia. So, yeah. and then then that use. What happens if that use happens? Yeah, in, but what, to, what you know, the, we have the breakup of the Soviet Union. Now they're looking like they're trying to recreate it. You know, I mean, they're trying to say no. We, you know, we're not going to be satisfied with being who we are. We want we want your yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, 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 you know, in hindsight, who's after Ukraine? I mean, Poland, well, you know, Moldavia, yeah, yeah, Moldavia yeah, is, Moldavia, and sure. probably the Baltic states. Yeah. But you know, I I think we we were pretty aggressive yeah. after you know after we got the wall went down, yeah, yeah. we went and got a bunch of these other one other countries in there too. Mm-hmm. So there's a little bit about about that. But there's no way in the world in the Western civilization that you allow yeah. brute force to take something away. You you don't. You stand yeah. up to it. You stop yeah. that, and you and you draw the line on that. Okay. Before you go, let's let's spend a, a minute in my favorite thing, and that is yip. Uh, you know, this is another project that Ricky threw his heart and soul in, uh, into a few years ago, and he's manufacturing time to keep this thing rolling, and it's just been so so good. Uh, what's going on? We've had a little, yeah, a little, a little hiccup because of COVID and everything. But we went right happened? through it. This program, it, right it, Hawaii yeah. went right through. We uh, did the program yeah. during. The pandemic. Yeah. We did not stop here. Yeah. We did, and we mastered it. Nobody got COVID. We went right through it. But we are opening up our program uh, this week. We are opening up for June 13th. For those who don't June know what 24th. it is, what is YIP? It, it, is a, it is a STEM-based social change program yeah. 
for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade yeah. children, yeah. both girls and boys, that expose them yeah. to the University of Hawaii, yeah. the, the U.S. military, yeah. and student athletes. Yeah. So female and, and food and, and sport, food, free food, yeah. free yeah. free clothing. <laughs> And we yeah. put them on a nine to five yeah. Yeah. Uh, routine, yeah. Yeah. like they're going to college, and we put about a three to one uh, leaders yeah. around them. That would mean champion hero leaders, military yeah. student athletes around them, and we teach them leadership skill sets. We teach them their academic skills, which they all rise, yeah. and we bring them together. It is a moving program. Yeah. We show the impact change. We're with them for two weeks. To force it that It changes change. their lives, gang. I've been at these awards and I've been at these yeah, ceremonies. Yeah, I've met some of these young people. Uh, it's, it's truly amazing. And, and you promised that it was going to include girls. Now it does. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on with that. And, and I do know that, you know, it's, it's onward and upward. But uh, it, I want to make sure that people, one of these days, we got to have a better web presence. Where can we find out more about why? It's, it's at the Youth Impact program.org website. You can yeah. sign up for it yeah. right now. Do Trey, it. Trey Johnson, who's here with me, he's yeah. the national director of my entire yeah. programs yeah. across the United States, but he's here in, based in Hawaii. Yeah. So that the, those sites are open for sign up. It's a free program, man. Yeah. It, and we, again, we're giving these children access that they wouldn't have to, yeah. to make them fall in love yeah. with a scholastic aspect of yeah. it and yeah. see leadership Day to day you know, and go. When this thing first started, gang, you know, in its humble beginnings, it was uh, a lot of these kids, mostly boys at that time, uh, thought they were going to uh, play, going to summer school to play football. <laughs> and they did. But, they, but what I'm so impressed, not with just the coaches and the players it's and the, the military and the community that got behind these kids, yeah. and one kid in particular that had a fort size 14 you or 15. Story, I love right. that story, man. Yeah. And yeah. that kid is, I couldn't believe yeah. What what a life changer this! And we guy got is. a couple of them that are in Potoho. I yeah, mean, they've yeah, got scholarships. Yeah. We, we've changed them in, in, into that aspect yep. of it. But it's it's the you know it's the belief, it's the faith, yep. it's inside their heart. You expose it to them, and then yep. after that, you've lit the fire. That's all yep. you have to That's do. It. And they and fan they go the on fire, forward. fan the blades. On top of that, nice seeing you, Fred. Yeah, thank you.